Okay, let's do some historical digging. You hear a lot of dudes on social media make statements like, the Bible wasn't compiled until the 4th century. It was the Council of Nasia that put those books together. Other than that, the whole thing was a fairy tale. This claim is not biblically historically accurate. Inside the 1st century, we know that the books that you and I have in our New Testament were the books that were recognized by the early church in the 1st century. The only thing was that there was no stamp of approval on the books back then. The books were only assumed to be apostolic in authority in the 1st century historically. Let's not forget that as time went by, Interpolis came along. Most of those books were good and most were so bad as well. Now, a lot of those books claimed to be from Peter, others claimed to be from Paul. But the question was, were those books really from those writers as they claimed? In the 4th century, the church couldn't take all those fake books coming in causing a whole lot of confusion. In fact, some of them were really bad, so the church decided to codify this using a Creed 5 system to separate the original books written from the fake books which were beginning to creep in secretly. Most people think the separation was done to take some books out. No, this is not historically true. The separation rather prevented fake books from getting mixed up with the original manuscript. However, history is still not over. A fellow named Jerome commissioned to translate the already historically existing Greek and Hebrew Bible into a Latin version. This is where the question of did Jerome include the books the Roman Catholics have in their canon today? Yes, he did. But he didn't just do that. He added the notes which read, These aren't actually the Bible. They can be profitable to the understanding of how people before us did their things. But these aren't inspired writs. That's from the Latin Vulgate. So now it's been established that the books weren't taken out of the Bible as a lot of haters seeking to discredit the Bible say. But rather, certain books were added to the Latin translated version. Fast forward, we enter into the Protestant Reformation. It is now the 16th century and justification by faith alone is sweeping the western civilization and the books that were recognized were the same 27 books that we have in our New Testament today. So now, we know the 27 books of the New Testament have not been tempered with historically from time memorial but there's still a problem and the problem is a question that goes why then does the Roman Catholic Church have more Bibles today? Did the Roman Catholic Bible exist before some books got taken out leaving the 27 books of the New Testament or did the 27 books of the New Testament exist before the Roman Catholic Bible which includes the books of the Apocrypha? Historically, the 27 books existed before the Apocrypha was added which is now used by the Roman Catholics. And one thing you have to note is that up until today, those books haven't been codified as being biblical. The Apocrypha book, a collection of writings that were actually rejected early by the church, were now suddenly courtesy of the Council of Trent in 1545, which took about four years to complete, started to add those books to the original 27 canon. Protestants did not remove them. The Roman Catholic Church added them and that is simply historical fact. One might ask, why did they do that? Well, men like Martin Luther King, understanding justification by faith alone, recognized purgatory doesn't even make sense. If we are totally forgiven, imputed with Christ's righteousness, then why do we have to go, burn off our bad works or even our way into paradise if it's already been earned for us? So he started to look through his New Testament and couldn't find a single verse that even came close to purgatory. Most people could argue 1 Corinthians chapter 4, but that has more to do with works than it does salvation. I have a video on salvation versus works which you can check in the link in the description below. There is no support for purgatory in the 27 books of the New Testament, so the Roman Catholic decided to come up with a plan to support their doctrine. So they decided to find some books that do talk about purgatory and they added some to the canon in order to support their doctrines which actually had no biblical support. 
This is history. Protestants did not take books out. It was the Roman Catholic Church in the middle of the 16th century that added them.